So I went on a recent camping trip and I had to figure out how the hell I was going to survive without a fresh food source. And you know, in the past I might have packed some foil, uh, foil meals where you just throw on the fire and heat them up or I might pack a lot of muesli bars and fruit and you know, carbohydrates as a dense energy source. But I couldn't do that this time. So what, what was I to do? And the answer was essentially pemmican. And pemmican is an old food. It's a food that was used uh, particularly by early settlers in North America. And they learned this, this food preparation from the natives. Um, typically it can last, you know, three to five years. So that's what made it so useful was that people could create it, they could store it and they could travel with it because it's dehydrated meat and rendered fat. It's super light and super nourishing. You don't have to eat a lot and apparently the guys who used it really did thrive. So that is the food source I went with. The only downside to this was that it got boring and I was eating it maybe three times a day for three days straight. Uh, as soon as I finished camping and trekking, I was so happy to go get a fresh steak um, on my way home but you know this pemmican I created and this is more or less every traditional recipe is virtually the two ingredients at different ratios of course depending on how much you rendered and how much you dried of the of the lean but it's essentially a jerky that is then um, that is then blended or crushed into a finer sort of powder and then uh, the rendered fat is poured onto it to absorb it and create you know, a solid item that is preserving itself. And it's preserved because you've removed all the water, then the fat seals it and prevents any moisture from entering it. And that's why it lasts so long. So here I am rendering the suet into tallow. My butcher just happens to uh, blend and freeze it and it's actually really convenient not blend sorry um they they mince it they put it through the mincer and then they freeze it so it actually renders so fast like this and you don't have any waste um turns out that's the best way to go if you can get it off your butcher it's much easier to do this way um you yield however much out of it in this case i got 383 grams of tallow out of whatever i used there and of my dried meat, this is my dehydrator and this is how I dried it all. You, you slice it thin, you put it in the dehydrator at least like 12 to 18 hours to make sure it is, is as dry as possible. Then from here, you simply blend it in batches. I had to do it in batches, but I blended it into this finer sort of powder to use and mix with the fat. Uh, this was two and a half kilos of blade roast that dried up to 685 grams of jerky. Um, so there's quite, a, quite a, a lot of weight taken out of it. It's perfect for traveling. So, and this is it mixed together. This is me combining the two to create the pemmican. Um, this, this batch I made was actually a little too lean. It clumped together, but not entirely. You might want to aim for a higher fat content. The, the ratio that I calculated for this was 63% lean and 37, oh, sorry, 63% fat and 37% lean. You might want to aim more for 70, 30 or 80, 20. Um, not only is that more ideal for, um, for energy is also more ideal for storage and um, making the pemmican last. So keep that in mind. This pemmican did work, but I was, I did find by like the second or third day, I was craving a little more fat. But this is the end product. This was, you know, ideal besides getting bored for it. So I would recommend doing that, especially for these situations.